first time nine-year-old Leslie Valtier has ever been sledding. In fact, it's the first time she's ever touched real snow. Does it feel like you thought it was going to feel like? Yes, a little bit harder. Leslie and 15 other Bay Area children are spending the weekend in the High Sierra, thanks to volunteers from the Sierra Club. This is the sledding lane. This is the walking lane. During the week, Arca Larson sells insurance. It's, it's kind of tricky, huh? Will Chi is a high-tech engineer. Right, left, right again. Jerry left Rooney again. is a videographer. Right but several weekends a year, they step out of their routine and head for the mountains with a pack of kids who wouldn't be here any other way. This is the inner city outings program, started in the 1970s to give low-income young people a chance to experience the outdoors. I think it's very important to get to get children a panda to get a little fun and a little education at the same time. Biologist Allison Chin has volunteered for 18 years. I think it exposes them to things they might not otherwise see. Um, a lot of it's about teaching them that the outdoors is, belongs to all of us. Um, what we hope to do as Sierra Club members is, you know, plant the seed in, in the future advocates who are going to really help to save the, the planet. In the winter, the trips focus on the snow. The kids stay at a lodge in the Tahoe Donner area. But the rest of the year, there are other adventures. River rafting, kayaking, I've been camping, I've been to the hot springs. On this trip, most of the children are from the Seven Tree School in San Jose. There was a girl riding up last night that just kept screaming out the window. I thought she was going to jump out the window. Snow! I want snow! The volunteers do constant fundraising to pay for the trips. They even supply the clothes kids need to keep warm. The inner city outings program keeps a storage shed full of supplies. And every trip, someone volunteers as equipment manager. I'm making sure we have the right sizes for the participants in the trip and making sure the equipment uh, when the trip is over is uh, properly dried and cleaned and then returned. When you add in the preparation, this snow trip took a total of about 400 volunteer hours shared by seven people. How does it make you feel, though, knowing that you're giving someone an opportunity to see snow for the first time? <laughs> you could make me cry right now. <laughs> I am so fortunate and so blessed yeah. that this is my opportunity to give back.